Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bow video. Today I'll be talking about new hair hire or hair 10 kilo UV washing machine. It's my first video when I'll be actually filming washing machine and talking behind the camera. So while I'm doing it for the first time ever, please bear with me and I'll try to walk you through my first impressions after unboxing this washing machine and ha had, had, I had a couple of washers already in it. So if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe, like this video and um, ask any questions. Uh, the whole idea of this video is to give people more knowledge, more opinion and more choices when they buy an appliances. All right, let's start with the simple things. Turn camera. And so here's the washing machine. Uh, first impressions, um, very sleek, very lovely and somehow modern. It's really hard to describe what modern machine is like, but let's start from the beginning. So this panel of the washing machine is actually touch sensitive. While it's great for people like myself and younger, I'm a bit concerned that um, I guess older generation may find it a little bit tricky. And I quickly walk you through how it works and what to expect. So um, pressing that button, see the touch sensitive button, you press it and the washing machine starts. And automatically it starts in the first setting, which is cotton. And as all options that you can choose uh, in a cotton cycle. There's a dial here, it's uh, just rotating dial. And you can choose between functions and while some cycles are very flexible some are predetermined so for example if you go into synthetic it's predetermined and if you go to delicate you still got a couple of choices but it's already giving you 50 minutes because on other cycles depends what you press on the time will be dependent on what you choose so you've got allegedly 16 possible cycles on this washing machine and I think it's quite uniform with other washing machines. There's no trick here. The only trick is understand that all of that is touch sensitive. So all the things that lighten up right now, they are touch sensitive. So if you would like, uh, uh, for example, UV sanitize, which is main feature of this washing machine, you do need to choose it and it just um, highlights. Um, so I think there's no surprise here, but one particular thing. As you can see here, there's a Wi-Fi uh, signal kind of sign. And that sign only will eliminate when you set up Wi-Fi. And I'll talk about Wi-Fi a bit later. But if Wi-Fi is not set up or not functioning properly, that sign will blink, right? So if that sign is blinking, you do need to set up your Wi-Fi first. Why do you want to set up your Wi-Fi first? First of all, because you would like to control your washing machine from the application or at least get notified when washing finished and you at home or not at home that washing is finished. The second bit is when you're out and about, instead of pre-schedule your washing to start or, um, you know, usually people would delay start and it may finish early, may finish later, you may start the, when you want from wherever you want, but that needs application to be connected through Wi-Fi, through your system, and it needs to be configured. Word of warning, two main things need to be done before you do washing remotely. First, your Wi-Fi needs to be configured and not blinking. The second, you need to press just two buttons on top here, and then it will make a noise. Let me demonstrate it. So I turn it off and turn it back on. So it lights up. And for me to start remote washing, I need to press two of those buttons together. Hold on, I think for three seconds. And as you can hear, uh, there's a click and also mobile phone application flashing. That means now Cycle can be uh, controlled remotely. Now I've got error only because I did not close the door. Um, so, um, so that. Uh, also, when you're setting up your Wi-Fi, all your Wi-Fi settings would be right on this label. 
So you've got a uh, temporary password, MAC address and so on. Um, drum is normal size, you've got LED lighting inside and your UV light will be coming from bottom there. And that's the whole idea of this washing machine is to have UV uh, uh, light killing 99.99% bacteria. Why it is good? Because detergents are not really good uh, killing bacteria. Detergents are really good washing stains and so on. If you'd like to kill bacteria, usually you need to boil water and use more detergent. Uh, so the idea of this washing machine is use half of the detergent as well as wash in a cold water. I did two washes and my main test was uh, my gym uh, cloth test because they are polyester and polyester uh, absorbs a lot of smells and also it's hard to wash. And after those two washes I can confirm that um, using half of detergent and um, washing a cold water cloth does not smell or stink at all at, at the end. Also, this washing machine has um, auto dosing, so that means it will decide how much detergent is need to uh, um, to use for a particular cycle. Um, and one thing I would like to explain that that auto dosing comes only for washing liquid. Let's have a look what's inside. So we've got uh, powder compartment, we've got uh, fabric softener compartment, and here's your uh, liquid detergent so you can open that uh, compartment and put up to 750 ml of liquid detergent and it will be auto dosing smartly when you wash if you put powder and uh, fabric softener it won't be auto dosing so if you'd like almost full automation you need to put liquid detergent you need to put your fabric softener and you need to enable your um, remote connection to washing machine or start it immediately and it will wash. Um, what else do you add about washing machine? This particular model is 10 kilograms. Um, I guess uh, it's a standard size but what's impressive they managed to fit the standard uh, 10 kilograms of washing size washing drum into st standard size of washing machine. The reason why I'm so emphasizing this because my previous washing machine was 16 kilos and it was twice as big. So it's really nice. Also, uh, as you can see, I'm uh, happily stuck in my dryer on top of the washing machine. And um, when this washing machine works, it's not only quiet because it has an inverter motor, it's also very balanced. So there's no vibrations on top. And even though vibrations, I, I put a very nice um, soft foam mat and it is stackable, it's working well. And I can tell you what, uh, I never had such a quiet washing machine. Um, inverter also make this motor works not only quiet, but also more gentle and slower, smoother spin when it needed. And it also spins quite fast when you um, uh, spin cycle for uh, getting rid of the water and the spinning cycle, spin, speaking of spinning cycle, you can increase spin up to, um, let me turn it off, up to 1400 RPM, which is um, quite significant uh, um, speed. So if you, if you go to spin speed, you've got uh, 1200 and then 1400 you can speed up to that. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. So what I can say, the washing machine is well designed. Um, the main features works very well, which is um, UV sanitized. That means you can wash in a cold water and uh, auto dose detergent. Uh, I do like this washing machine. I do like literally everything about it. I like price point. I like warranty. I like functions and I like size. Also like its quietness and um, energy and um, uh, uh, water economy. So if you have any questions about this washing machine, please feel free to um, comment down below. And again, if you like this channel, feel free to subscribe, like, and I'll see you next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.